from KipHakes.tv and you join me on the floor. I know, this is a quick how-to video to tell you how you can add shelves to your Kallax storage unit from Ikea. So here we have a Kallax here and they're great and we love them here. Uh, we use them to store James's Lego models on as you can see here but the problem is you get a Lego model and put it on a shelf you've got all this dead space here. So you can actually add shelves to the inside of those units. Now, you could do a bit of woodwork and add it, but thankfully, Ikea, they think of everything. They've thought of that, and they have got these. Now, these are the Kallax additional shell kits, and the uh, number on them is 204.237.20. And basically, these give you an additional shelf, and I'll show you how it works. So let's crack it open. Now I didn't actually know these were a thing. And I think, you know, some of you might not know it either. Okie dokie. Right, so these don't come in like a full range of colors. I think they only come in white and black. So bear that in mind. Now you don't actually need any tools for this. It is entirely toolless, so that's helpful. Okay, so what's in the pack? Two of these which are the side panels and then we've got this which is the shelf so basically how it works is the shelf goes onto the side panels here and you push those in and it basically makes it a little bit thicker now you can't use these in conjunction with the doors so you can't add a shelf and then put some doors on it won't work unfortunately so in here we should have the little pins and also we have got these which are just basically self-adhesive strips that go on the back of the supports and just sort of push in basically. So that's these. They're not like double-sided sticky, there's a felty side and a self-adhesive side. So let's put our little dowels in the hole. So the small end goes into the shell, like that. And then the bigger end goes into the side panels. Yeah, so I actually like Googled when I was uh, trying to find out how to put shelves in. And there were sort of people who sold like add-ons and stuff on um, Etsy, I think. But no, you can buy them from Ikea. They're nine pounds for one, which is pretty good, really little dowel pins in. Right, so next job is to stick the strips onto the back of this. Now obviously this is the back because that's the side you don't want to see. So there we go, there's the strips stuck on the back. And let me do it on this side. It does tell you to uh, join everything together before you put the strips on, but I think that's counterproductive. So the usually excellent IKEA instructions I've, I've swayed away from slightly. There we go. That's that one done. So now we've got to put all three things together. This is where I wish I probably had another set of hands. Now I don't think it matters which row, no, the shelf is covered on all sides, so it doesn't matter which bit's the front and which bit is the back. We go one and two. Now the shelves can go either way, so you can have a separation on the vertical if you want. Um, but we're going to go for a separation on the horizontal. There we go. So in theory, he says. I mean, if you wanted to, you could um, you could probably screw it in. But I think that's all right. That yeah, that's all right. So now you've got room for Lego on there or on there. Perfect. So that is it. That's a really simple how-to video, but I hope it has helped you in some way. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe 
and I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!